I love what I do for a living. Being a photographer is the best career. I wouldn't be as happy doing anything else. I've been getting requests to see more behind the scenes content here on my channel. This is Taya. I've been photographing her for the last four or five years. I have a different approach when it comes to shooting on location. I would say half of the photography work that I do is outside. I also don't use artificial light when I shoot on location. I'm a natural light shooter and I pride myself in being able to find the right amazing natural light when I'm outside. One thing you'll notice when I photograph Taya is there's constant correction and there's constant direction. I'm constantly telling her what to fix, what to do, how to pose, how to look. You can never really just let your subject do whatever it is they want to do. I think it's super important to be not just a great photographer, but also a great director. Our subjects can't tell what they look like on camera, so it's up to us to constantly be guiding, constantly be directing, and helping our subjects get into that right perspective. I don't show my subjects as I'm shooting, but I strategically show my photographs. There's no light there. There is. The thing that's amazing about this location is it's in open shade. I always put my subjects in open shade. The sun's in the wrong spot 90% of the time. So in this situation, because I was shooting around two o'clock, the sun was relatively high still. This first look, I needed to put her out of the sun. So I chose this garage. I just didn't know that there was gonna be a car there and a car there, but I still made this location work. Look how great the texture is in the background. Look how great the full foliage itch that's covering the garage. Once you see me work these photos, you'll see that this actually is a location. Okay, that interruption's definitely making me pivot. This was just gonna be a BTS, but why not dive into the art of shooting in open shade? Instead of just watching me shoot Taya, how about I share some tips and insights that can help you capture stunning portraits in this amazing lighting condition. I could have put Taya in the sun, but I chose to put her in the shade. This is gonna be sick and way better than just watching a BTS. First things first though, what exactly is open shade? Open shade is a photographer's best friend when it comes to portraits. By the way, communication is key. Communicate with your model. Building a rapport and making your subject feel comfortable is super key when you're trying to capture genuine and captivating portraits. By the way, don't forget to adjust your white balance settings to match your lighting conditions. Yes, you're shooting raw, so you can fix white balance after the fact, but don't forget, shade renders cold. So adjust your white balance so it's more flattering when you share your work on the back of your camera with your subject. Back to constantly directing. You'll notice here I'm extending my chin out Extending your chin out elongates your neck and makes it so you avoid a double chin. After you've shot some frames, don't forget to review them. It helps you adjust your settings if needed and make sure you include your subject when you're reviewing so you can coach them how to get the best possible images. The encouragement that I give my subjects in between looks keeps them motivated and keeps the energy up for the entire shoot. Let's get back to open shade. Open shade provides soft, diffuse light, which means fewer harsh shadows on your subject's face, which results in more flattering and even skin tones. Also, I loved this picture so much I had to show her. It's important to show those bangers as you're getting them to keep that motivation going and to let your subject know what you're shooting. Also, in open shade, you have more flexibility with your camera settings. You can adjust your exposure easily, allowing you to fine tune your shots without worrying about sudden shifts in lighting conditions. Exactly, just like that, just like that. Bite your lip like that again? Yeah, and wink again? Totally distracted. This picture is for sure the thumbnail. It was so sick. This is just a preview, but make sure you stay to the end of this video so you can see my favorite shots. On to the next look. That's so bad, but that is when that, when that 10 second... 
Keep the energy positive. When you and your subject are comfortable and relaxed, it shines through in your photos. Small talk, encouragement, and guide your subject gently and you'll capture authentic expressions. By the way, this has nothing to do with shooting in shade. This is just what you do. Composition-wise, open shade allows you to explore various angles and perspectives without the constraints of harsh shadows. When you shoot in open shade, you have to consider the direction of the light source. You can see here the lights coming from behind her. Ideally, position your subject so the light falls evenly on their face. This helps avoid unwanted shadows or highlights on one side of the face. A, B, D always be directing. Stop. Right there, right there. I love that. Always be encouraging. Open Shade provides a fantastic canvas for portrait photography. In Open Shade, colors appear more vibrant and skin tones look natural. Notice how I have her leaning into the camera and projecting forward. Chin up for me. I think you're putting your chin on a table. Good, 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 good. Sweet thoughts. Amazing, amazing. Pay attention to framing, composition, and most importantly, the background. The soft, even lighting and open shade allows you to create intimate and detailed compositions. A beautiful open shade scenario should be complemented by an equally stunning background. So scout your locations carefully. I'm shooting this in an editorial style, so I'm always looking for complementary but non-distracting backgrounds. By the way, don't forget to share that work with your subject and keep that positive energy up. Talk to them while you're going to the next location. Share with them what you're looking for. Communication is key when it comes to working with subjects. You have to tell them everything. Tell them what you're thinking. You can see right here she's in the wrong spot. I have her back up so she's out of the light and only in shade. I can't wait for you to see the final results. Know that I'm shooting with an 85, so I'm punched in more than you can see with this frame. And look how the background falls off into darkness and the contrast that it creates with her dress. I'm now getting her to reach up, which elongates her and makes her feel taller. With this session, I really was looking for a blend of textured backgrounds as well as non-distracting plain backgrounds. Just look at how Taya is working the camera. Look at how she's projecting herself forward. And again, look at how I'm continually, constantly directing her. I love how the wind is just giving us beautiful kicks to her hair. It's so natural and it feels really oh, Yeah, editorial. love that. Stay there. Look at camera right here. Great. Always be checking your frame. Oh, I had to share this one with her. It was so sick. I moved her back a little bit into the darkness because I wanted her to be pushing out of the frame a little bit. Look at how this really elongates her. I thought that this location was super great and her arms looked so great when they were up. I wanted to keep that momentum going, but I wanted to have her hair forward. Look at how amazing it looks when her hair is forward. I know from just looking at this video clip, you can imagine what this frame looks like. I'm so happy with this session. Taya is such a great subject. She's such a great model. And we picked, I think, the absolute perfect dresses to photograph on this beautiful day. You can see how she's playing off the wall. Yeah, good, good, really great. Playing off the stairs and the wall and projecting forward really causes tension. A few feet down from that location was this incredible piece of graffiti. Beautiful. Beautiful. This dark background and that poppy color contrasting against that white dress I thought was amazing. If you're wondering why I'm always stretch, getting stretch, her to reach her long. hands above her yeah, head straight, and straight. also to stretch Don't long, it elongates her. Also, her legs crossed over narrows her. 
I thought maybe I'd bring her off the wall to see what the highlight of the sun looked like in her hair. But I want you to notice the angle that I'm using keeps her face in the shade. I didn't spend too much time here, but I did love the highlight of the sun on her blonde hair. Helmut Newton famously said, if you can't find an amazing location to shoot within two blocks of where you're standing in any direction, you're doing something wrong. White dress against white wall, that funny smirk. I just thought that this was such an amazing way to end this look. Look at that. I'm so happy with this session. Number one, the sun didn't touch her the entire session. I shot open shade through both dresses. Also, I shoot through the picture. I don't stop when I get the shot. I shoot through the picture. I shoot full length recorder and headshots of every idea. And just when you think the shoot should be over, I do it again in another spot and I do it again in another spot. That really assures me that I have great photography. It's so great for the client, then we change outfits and do it all over again. I know that Taya is going to be blown away when she sees these photographs and it's a good session. Thank you guys, by the way, for watching. I hope that was helpful. And as promised, my favorite images. If this content resonated with you, please drop it a like. It helps more than you know. If you have a question about something specific in this video, please leave it in the comments. I'll be happy to answer. I read every single one. If you've made it to the end of this video and you're not subscribed, come on now. Subscribing is free. Do you shoot in open shade? What was your favorite look that I shot today? You know, you can always go to stevecarter.com to see more of my portfolio work. There's also info on my mentorship program. I've queued up two more of my favorite videos. I hope you'll watch one.